All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to go into what the difference is between Google Search Console and Google Analytics 4 and why you need both of these if you're trying to track what happens on your website and you're trying to improve things like conversion rate, how users you know interact with your site and things like that. So these two are actually two key distinct tools that you need. However, it might not be clear on the surface what's actually the difference between them and what they're for. So I'm going to go into that here. Firstly, Google Search Console. So the idea behind Google search console is basically two things it's the technical side of your website and how your website shows up on Google search which is what the main purpose of it is what it will show you is as you can see here the clicks that you get from Google search the impressions you get from Google search the average click-through rate that you get from Google search things like what the average position on Google search is for the keywords you rank for as you can see here if you click that one, you can also see what keywords people have clicked on, what pages they've clicked on, from what countries they've come from, etc. Basically, it's all the data for how your website is performing on Google search specifically and everything that comes with that. Now, what it also does do, though, is it gives you some technical things about the website. So, for example, if you go down to page experience here, it will tell you what they call core web vitals are on your website, how they think the performance of your site is is doing so for example here you can see it says poor URLs that need improvement usually this is to do with page speed but it gives you a bit of insight into that and it also gives you insight into the HTTPS whether that's active or not and for which URL but those are two minor things that it tells you about on your website and that's basically it everything else is relating to how the website is crawled how it's indexed on Google how it shows on Google etc so things like sitemaps pages uh, which has indexed any errors you have things like that if you want to know more about how to use Google Search Console specifically, I have a tutorial now already. Just click the link above and you can go watch that video and I explain what all the different parts of Google Search Console are and what you use them for. Now, on the contrast, so Google Search Console is basically everything on Google Search results. Google Analytics, on the other hand, tracks and measures what happens once these people actually land on your website. So what it does is it's tracking everything that happens on your website itself. So it'll track the organic search which is the ones that came from google search so what google search console analyzed but it will also tell you where other sources of traffic came from like direct paid shopping organic social paid search which is google ads referrals things like that it's going to tell you how many exactly how many users came from each of these channels and then once they're on their website what they did there so for example one of the key things that google analytics is good for is tracking the conversions or otherwise known now as key events basically what people did once they landed on your website so you can go into google analytics and you can set up what's known as conversions or key events say for example here i want to track people who made a purchase and now google analytics will tell me every time someone makes a purchase and from which traffic source they came from and you can also track other things like form submits and etc etc if you want to know how to do that i've made a tutorial on that as well I'll put a link above shows you how to go through the steps to actually set all that up but basically that's what that does and then what that also allows you to do is to take those import them into google ads and then in google ads you can set the ads to optimize for these key events or conversions that you've set up here so that you can get your ads getting the people that you want on your website and so that's what google analytics does so those are the key differences basically google search console tracks everything on google search results that relate to your website and Google Analytics tracks everything on your website to do with the data, the user's data. So where they came from and what they've done once they landed on your website so that you can further optimize your website for certain things like purchases, form submits, leads, or whatever you're trying to achieve. That's the summary of those two. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you have any more questions about any of this, put them in the comments below. I will answer them. Otherwise, if you want my help getting leads or sales or growing your business through Google, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with me there, and I'll see how I can help you. Otherwise, if you want me to coach you on how to do these things, how to do Google Analytics, Google Search, Google Ads, SEO, go to learndominatemarketing.com. It's only $49 a month. You can actually jump on two calls a week with me, and I will coach you on how to get better results. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Catch you on the next one.